Tough loss last night to the Mavs. Started out well. Scored 39 points. Nice little first half. At what point did John go down? Did he roll his ankle? Right around the end of the first half. So that was a scary moment. It was. Uh, but I believe they did the x-ray and everything. He came back, played well. I listened to the post-game comments. Coach. Hey. Hey, how Coach are you? Brooks is on? presented by Greenberg and Veteran Personal Injury Lawyers. And John, we think John's okay. He did come back and play. He yeah. seemed to be moving fine. Yes, he's uh, came back and played well. Unfortunately, we didn't play well in that fourth quarter. Right. Uh, we'll see how he feels today. Uh, but, yeah, it was a scary moment. No question when he went down. Normally, you know, he's tough as nails. He usually yep. pops up pretty quick. Um, but he had the x-rays. He did some work on our practice court and then felt that he was uh, good. And, he, you know, he played well. Coach, how he feels today. Coach, I have to think on a nightly basis, you worry about when John Wall takes contact like he did hmm. when he was writhing on the court last night because he's fearless. He goes into the lane. He goes up against the big bodies. He gets knocked around all the time. I'm shocked it doesn't happen more often with John. Yeah, you know what? He attacks the hoop as, as aggressive as anybody in the league. But his, his body is, I mean, he can handle a lot of contact. He's 6'4", 218, 220 pounds, and it's all muscle. And, you know, he, he, he gets up every, every night he plays. He loves the game. You could tell guys that love the game, they just play. They just play every night. Uh, he, he has some bumps and bruises. He just goes out there and plays. Now, you had this awesome road trip, right? You won four or five. At one point, I think you had won five in a row. And then I'm just wondering, as a coach, does it kill you when, look, every game is tough, and we know in this league anybody can beat anybody. But you're coming off a high like that, and then to finish up the road trip, it's not, not look, nothing wrong with it. You won four or five, but you're playing a T-Wolves team that is not very good. Then you play a Mavericks team that, let's be honest, not very good. Does it kill you that you kind of blow those two? Like, they're teams you should beat. Absolutely. You know, we're disappointed. We felt that, you know, we did come out off a nice road trip, but historically that first game is it's a tough game because you you got a lot going on. You're back home and you relax, and, and, right. and we did last night. I thought, you know, we had a 10-point lead and we just, we just relaxed. We thought we were just going to finish the game off. In that fourth quarter, we stopped defending. We didn't defend well in the first quarter. We're giving up too many 35-point quarters, and that fourth quarter, we gave up 39 points, seven threes in the fourth quarter. Uh, it's a tough, it's a tough loss, but we have to bounce back. We have to move forward, and we got another tough one tomorrow night against Chicago. Coach Nerlens Noel, what type of? It just seems very awkward to try to defend him. I, I felt like throw a lob to him, and from anywhere on the court, he's just so lanky. What what type of difficulties does he present trying to play defense on that guy? Well, he's so athletic, and once he once he gets his momentum going downhill, and they throw the ball up, you're not going to be able to jump with him. He's seven feet tall, and he's athletic. He's long. But what happened last night? We were having trouble controlling the basketball, and and then when we didn't have that, our weak side did not come in to to prevent those lobs from happening. But and then, and like I said, we were scrambling all night, especially in that fourth quarter, and we were giving up wide threes and. He, you know, this road trip, we've been you know, not, not very good three-point line. We're, we need to get back to guarding that three-point line. Coach, were you stunned by, speaking of the three-point line, Nicholas Bursino? Mm. When he came into the game, I was like, who, who is this dude that's stroking <laughs> the long threes that isn't Dirk Nowitzki? I was like, who is this guy? He's a 24-year-old from Argentina. Well, they got him scouted. They knew what he could well, do. He, comes, he had 23 minutes last night. For the whole month, he barely had 23 minutes. I mean, talk about the impact that guy had on the game. Well, I thought he was a major impact. Him and Devin Harris, I think they had 10 and 11 points. and They hit, I think, five threes between them, the three threes that he hit. I mean, we knew he was a shooter, but you know, he had too, too many good looks. And, you know, it's unfortunate we didn't close all the way out to the touch. And when you don't do that and you give guys their shots and warm-up shots, they're going to make them. These hmm. guys are... They're good players, and, you know, we have to be able to guard all players that, that teams throw out there. I remember, I think it's when we had you on last week, and you talked about another time where the game got away from me and you tried everything. I believe that was the quote you said. Um, did you go through that last night in the fourth? Yeah, I mean, we, we tried everything. We um, Different different guys, uh, different schemes. Uh, we 
used every timeout. I had no timeouts into the game. We're just trying to stop their run. Um, yeah, we like I said, we did not control the ball at all last night, particularly in that fourth quarter. We've been we have to get back to playing the defense that we were playing for uh, for a couple of months before the All Star break. We have to get back to that edge. We kind of we've kind of lost that edge, and you know it's a long season, the ebbs and flow of the season. You can that can happen, but you have to be aware of it and acknowledge it, and and try to try to um, regain what we had. 